Sure you have seen the classic homopolar motor that is built using a battery, a neodymium magnet, a screw or nail and a piece of wire. Today I want to show you this not so common version of the homopolar motor. We also have a neodymium magnet with two screws, one at each side. The screws fit on this small hole that is perforated on the copper strip. We also have this copper tape that makes contact with the magnet. We will connect a battery here and here, so the electricity flows from the copper tape to the magnet, then through the screws to the copper strip and then back to the battery. The motor works because of the Lorentz force. When we have a conductor that has a current flowing through it and the conductor is immersed in a magnetic field, then the conductor will feel a force in a direction that is perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. In this motor the current flows through the copper tape, so we have the current in this direction and then the magnetic field is in this direction. Therefore, we will have a force upwards or downwards, depending on the sense of the current and the magnetic field. So, if the force is upwards, the motor will move in this direction, and if the force is downwards, it will move in the other direction. The motor is ready to test. I have this 6 volt battery connected here and here, through this resistor, it is a 0.4 ohms and 30 watt resistor. We need a resistor because the homopolar motor is essentially a short circuit and this battery easily gives 50 amps and that will be too much. I will try to run the motor without the resistor and see what happens. Too much speed. Let's try again. <laughs> 